What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com and today, well, you see it here. We got the Volkswagen, the Flower Power Bus, man. Um, these things put a smile on my face, you know, even just the regular bug and everything like that. It's just, it's just iconic, man. So anyway, this is the M05. This is the chassis that I'm talking about. Uh, this is a front wheel drive high performance car. That's what it says. I'm just going off of what it's telling me here, guys. So anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this thing. You know, if maybe you guys may have had one of them or whatever. They are cool. All right, so uh, the other things that you're gonna need, kind of visually showing you, your radio does come with the electronic speed controller. You're gonna need a receiver, the servo, your battery, and charger. All right, let's slide on over to, these are gonna be just, these are upgrades. You know, obviously tune-up parts not included in the kit, but you can get a little bit better performance motor. Then they have some other stuff here, universal shaft set. Bearings, those are definitely something you're gonna to want to do. I do have bearings for this. If I put them in there, I'm not sure yet. And then you can see, got our motor. See where our battery's going. Also, as far as where they're pointing out with the servo, our receiver, electronic speed controller. So yeah, lots to build on this thing and you're definitely gonna need that those electronics to get this thing up and running. All right, let's get this thing out of the box, man. We've all been waiting for it, I know. Building up, building up. All right, take a look at it, how it's packaged in the box. Take a look at that body first off, since it's already pre-painted. Kind of like that, but uh, you can get the clear ones too. Light buckets, so you can put LEDs in there. Really cool, you can put them in the rear. So it's got little light buckets, and I'll show you that in this kit. But it's pretty big, man. As far as the body, I wasn't expecting it to be as big as it is. All right, here, this is gonna be for the motor. And this is gonna be for your battery. I just wanna kinda show you guys so normal like nickel metal hydro battery, no problem, 7.2 nickel volt, you know, that kind of deal. But, uh, you know, if you have a 2S LiPo, something like this, I got a little Venom pack, it's what I usually run for like a 2S, it won't fit in there. Now, you can get creative and modify it so you can probably get that to work. I do know that they have some LiPos that are this uh, oval, but just kind of FYI on that one, just in case you're like, oh, I only got LiPos, and then, well, you're gonna need to, uh, make some changes to it to make it all work. But just kind of heads up on that. Now, when it comes to oh, the rims, man, chrome rims, on this case here, they're chrome. I'm okay with that because it's old school stuff. So, so you get your little tires, 12 millimeter. So you got 12 millimeter hexes. So you can put some different wheels on there, whatever you want to do to make it more personalized RC. So yes, all right, get that out of the way. Bumpers, front, rear bumpers, light buckets, side mirrors. You will need to paint these up if you so desire, so they're not just white. At least paint them black or something like that. So, um, but in the in the picture, they do have it as yellow, kind of a silver, and it looks like it's probably black in there. That's a little bit. That's a lot for me. So we'll see how far I go with that one. But yeah, hub carriers, whatnot. Let's get to a bunch of gears, bunch of. Oh, I was gonna ask, tell you too. If you're gonna be running this vehicle. You know, this is going to be something that you're going to not just shelf, kind of like what I'll probably do is kind of shelf it more or less, but uh, you're going to want bearings for this thing. So, so springs, lots of tools, grease in there, very nice. And also our electronic speed controller, the old Tamiya connection there. Okay. Now when it comes to the manual, so we got our M05 manual here, yeah. looking good. It kind of goes over all the stuff that you're going to need as far as your tools, what have you. So it's Phillips screws. So that's pretty much all you're going to need now. Good looking vehicle. All right, uh, this thing's got all kinds of stuff for like lots of more, a lot more instructions as far as for like your LEDs and so forth. Really nice. And sticker placement, that's what that instructions are on there. Speaking of stickers, why well, look at all those stickers? Get this thing flipped around a little bit. So that's gonna be a lot of stickers for Joe to cut out, man. Lots of stickers, maybe get the wife. Cut these out, help me. <laughs> anyway, then you have all this, all that little trim, black trim. That's a lot, man. That is a lot. There might be a second segment segment on just doing all those sticker cutouts. Jeez. But anyway, no, I won't do that. Won't do that to you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing all put together. <laughs> This
this thing's cool. Unique as far as that, you know, what other manufacturer does this stuff with RC stuff. I like it. I like that Tamiya does that. This thing took me about, I don't know, five or six hours listening to music, just hanging out, you know, putting this thing together. Just take your time with it. I'm not, I was not in a rush at all to put it together. I'm still got to do a lot more with the stickers because, you know, I'm not a big fan of cutting out stickers. And that's one thing I wish they would at least do is have them already die cut. So you just peel them off the page and you can stick them on there. But some people like to cut them all out. I'm not a fan of that, but teach their own. Uh, so I kind of went with the minimal. I will say at least on the back here because you see the front bumper, but the rear bumper, unfortunately in the kit, it was broken like straight down the middle of it. So I did reach out to Tamiya and uh, see what happens with that one. Right now, I already mended it using some CA glue and then sanded it all down and I have it uh, painted with a chrome paint. So once that's all done, that'll get on there. I wanna do a running video of it, but um, as of right now, I wanna kinda show you guys this. So let's get a little bit closer so we can see a little bit more detail too. I wanna show you this thing has light buckets in it. So uh, the LED light buckets. So you got them in the front and also in the rear. So just in case you guys want to put some LEDs in there, this thing's definitely capable of it. And then also as far as just the chassis itself, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you that so you kind of get a good look of it. And then flip this over so you can see just the hardware. And this is the chassis, how it's laid out. So 3000 milliamp nickel metal hydro battery, our old school Fataba servo. Our electronic speed controller over here and our receiver over here and got our brushed motor man so we're good to go like i said uh you probably want to go with different shocks eventually you know it's, it's a little bit easier riding it's not so bouncy or whatever but honestly like i said i'm not going to do much to this one like i just put just the ball bearings in it just to make it run a little bit smoother on that part of it but i don't know it's just cool it's a cool looking vehicle so it'll definitely be more or less shelved but you guys let me know what you guys think about it. If you had one of these, what would you do to it? Or if you're going to get one, what are you going to do to it? You know, let us know. It'd be really cool. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Like I said, I'll put those links down in the description below. But we got a lot of different Tamiya stuff. We sell lots of their stuff. So anyway, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. We'll get a running video of this here soon for you guys. Later. Mm -hmm.